The Porsche logo is one of the world's most recognizable brand identities. But did you know that the striking coat of arms first owned a Porsche in 1952? This is the story of where it all began. The Porsche logo is synonymous with high-performance vehicles and has been a symbol of the company's unwavering commitment to quality for many decades. Yet, few know the fascinating history behind the birth of this crest. While internally at the company, it is in fact only the Porsche lettering that officially represents the logo. Fans all over the world view the entirety of this crest as the Porsche logo, and so we will also refer to it as the Porsche logo throughout this video. Our story begins at a 1951 design competition. Although lettering with the name Porsche first started featuring on the bonnets of sports cars made in Zuffenhausen in 1950, it would take three more years before the idea to create a genuine trademark begins to take hold. It started when Porsche and Ottomar Dominic, a Stuttgart doctor and original Porsche customer, organized a design competition among German art academies in 1951. Even though the price was set at 1000 Deutsche Mark, none of the submitted designs managed to win them over. Instead, another idea piqued the interest of Ferry Porsche and it came all the way from New York City, the place where modern marketing, advertising and brand awareness was born. It was here that Max Hoffmann, an Austrian-born US car importer who specialized in European sports cars, played a crucial role in the idea to create a Porsche logo. After winning an award for the most interesting car at the Watkins Glen Concourse de Elegance for the first Porsche 356, which Hoffman imported to the US, he saw the potential to create a quality seal that would visually appeal to customers and create a unique identity. At a business dinner with Ferry Porsche in New York in 1951, Hoffman urged him to develop a symbol that reflected the company's roots and convey the quality and dynamism of his products. And his pitch patently struck a chord. Once back in Germany, Ferry tasked Franz Saver Reimspies, a senior designer at Porsche, and advertising manager Hermann Lapper with the creation of a trademark that would embody the company's ideals. Franz designed a symbol that represented the company's roots and its commitment to quality and dynamism. The resulting emblem first made an appearance in 1952 on the steering wheel of the Porsche 356 and has lasted through the decades. Today, it remains one of the most respected seals of quality in the automotive industry. For the design of the Porsche logo, Franz drew inspiration from Stuttgart's city seal, which features a rearing horse, and incorporated this into the center of the shield shape. Since Stuttgart itself was founded around 950 AD as a center of horse breeding and stud farms, the animal was a fitting addition to the emblem. The word Stuttgart is in fact derived from a small ducal stud farm, Stuttgarten, which was situated near the Nasenbach stream in the area. And the horse ultimately symbolizes the power, agility and elegance of Porsche cars. While the horse represents strength, the red and black stripes on either side are reflective of the traditional crest colors of Württemberg Hohenzollern. Moreover, the stylized antlers were also taken from the region's coat of arms. And to top it off, the name of the city that Porsche calls home is visible above the horse. There have been several versions of the Porsche crest over the decades, but its original design elements have remained intact. Franz Sauer Reimspies' Porsche logo was first seen on the steering wheel of the Porsche 356 in 1952, on hubcaps from 1959 and on Porsche hoods from 1965. Although the design has gone through several revisions over the decades, the fundamental elements have remained the same. There have only been light refinements and proportional adjustments. One notable outlier was when the race-ready 911 GT3 was given a painted Porsche badge in lieu of the traditional enamel coated logo. Shedding even this small amount of extra weight lent an advantage to the car speed when on the track. And more noticeable changes were made in 1994 and since then Porsche's letters are painted in black and therefore more highlighted. And now the iconic Porsche logo is getting a facelift after over three years of tweaking to mark its 75th anniversary. The logo was last modified in 2008 and as an attempt to bridge the history and future of the brand, Style Porsche Vice President Michelle Maurer says that they have combined the historical characteristics of the crest with innovative design elements such as a honeycomb structure and brushed metal. The new Porsche Panamera will be the first to wear this slightly simplified three-dimensional badge. And as time passes, the look of the Porsche logo will continue to evolve, but it will undoubtedly continue to honor that now unmistakable original design of more than 70 years ago. And what do you think of this new Porsche logo? Let us know in the comments below.